So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Is this real life? Yeah, this is real life. <laughs> Tragos, what's happening? Barnet Football Club have done it again! It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one, we're off to the hive. It's Barnet v Torquay United in the Vanarama National League. So we're not very good at keeping secrets as a football club. Our new loan signing was leaked before we could even announce it. Charlie Rowan, a centre-back, has joined on loan from QPR. Oh, and Barnet's manager's brother has threatened a Barnet fan on Twitter. I have absolutely no idea who he could be talking about here. <laughs> So you can't have an opinion unless it's to call someone a fat cunt and threaten to see them tomorrow. You'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. Not one of you will do nothing. Get the fuck out of here. And that they're on some kind of list. You know what? You just made the list. Oh no. But then track back and say it's okay to have an opinion. As long as it doesn't get too personal. You just called someone a clueless fat cunt. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. But can I just say, in this tweet, awful punctuation. Grammar slam! But anyway, that's enough of chatting bollocks. Let's get to the football news! So Torquay finished first last season in the National League South and was crowned champions. And then they now join us in the Vanarama National League. Welcome! They played 42 times, winning 27, drawing 7, losing 8, scoring 93, conceding 41, plus goal difference of 52, and then ended on 88 points. They currently sit 7th, and their last 5 games have been 2 wins, 1 draw, and 2 losses. <laughs> Gary Johnson, and he took over on the 30th of September 2018, where he's currently taking 45 games, winning 30, drawing 6, losing 9, giving him a win percentage of 66.7. <laughs> Number 19, Jamie Reed, who has four goals in six games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, here we go again. The 11th of the 11th, 2014. Barnet 2, Torquay United 3. Luisma and Bernard Mensa with Barnet's goals. Sorry, couldn't find any footage. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get a fuck out of town. Fuck you, Torquay United. I've still got a bone to pick with you. The 5th of May, 2001, where you set out to kick Lee Harrison so you could cheat your way to three points and staying in the Football League. You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. <laughs> Starting lineup for Barnet in a 3 5 2. Loach in goal. Your back three of Ari Taylor, Captain Ricardo Santos, and Rowan. Shay Alexander is your right wing back. Dan Sparks is your left wing back. Your three in the middle today Andre Bucard, Charlie Adams, and Jack Taylor. And up front, Josh Walker and Simeon Akinola. And this is our tall key lineup for today's game. Lads, you just won the league. Can't you put in a bit more effort, a bit of graphics and design? Just taking a photo of what's been printed out. Lazy work. So, two weeks ago against Chesterfield, it was 1 0 down after a minute. Saturday against Wrexham, 1 0 down after two minutes. Three minutes in. Barnet nil, Torquay United one. <laughs> Christ, Eastleigh, they'll score after four minutes on Saturday. Sloppy free kick to give away on the edge of the box. They've played the ball in, it's too many bodies that it's bouncing around. I don't know if it's an own goal or someone's nicked it. Either way, we're one nil down after three minutes. What, Josh? Oh! 
Seven minutes in, it's still 1 0 to Torquay. Great attempt by us. Shay Alexander, Dana Ryan side, posing Josh Walker, dancing through the box, had a shot across the goal line. No one running in that back post to have a tap in. Half hour in, Barnett, nil, Torquay United, two. Fantastic goal, edge of the box, left foot. Loach was beaten all day long. It was in the moment it left his foot. They've been all over us for 25 minutes. We had a little five minute spell, and that's it. We're letting them play football. Five to the half, still losing 2 0. I fucking don't know. Half time here at the Hive and it's Barnett nil, it's Torquay United 2. Not surprised, not shocked. I could say so much. I prefer really not to not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble and I don't want to be in big trouble. 45 minutes, I get to go home. Two minutes into the second half, it's Barnet 1, it's Torquay United 2. Fantastic play by Josh Walker. One-on-one -on -one with a player, beats him, puts the ball in along the edge of the box. Mason Clark unmarked, pops it home. It's all to play for now. Almost 60 minutes in, it's still 2-1 to Torquay. Much better performance by us in the second half. Box puts a ball into the box, just hits Jack Taylor's chest. He wasn't offside, Keeper grabbed it after that. 15 to go, still 2-1. We've oh, puffed man. and we've puffed. We're not breaking this door, Dan. Oh, it's amazing! In the 88th minute, it's Barnet 2, it's Talk United 2. Jack Taylor's pulled us back into the game. Shot on the edge of the area. It's the post, rolls along the goal line. I don't know if it's going to go in, it does. Into the 90th, we just added on six minutes. It's 2-2. Two, two. So the game finished, Barnet 2, Talk United 2. Two games in two days, in very hot weather, as it taking its toll. Or was we just not good enough? If we played like that in the first half under Steele, McGee, Agent Wesley, people would be calling for their heads. So why does Curry get a free ride just because he's a club legend? Fair's fair now. Talkie wanted it more in the first half. They played well. They did their job well. I've seen better performances over Hackney Marshes in the first half than what we gave. But in the second half, we've clearly had a rocket up our arse and we've decided to play football. Talkie being tuning up at half time, they sat back and allowed us to press and play and we got back in the game. Grinding out points while not playing pretty. I guess it's better than a loss. Santos and Akinola worked really hard. Josh Walker played well, but the game was calling out for Jack Barham yet again. So let's see what happens Saturday away to Eastleigh. You know what to do. ta -da. As someday it may happen that a victim must be found. I've got a little list. I've got a little list of society offenders who might well be underground and who never would be missed. Who never would be missed. He's got them on the list. He's got them on the list. And they none of them be missed. They none of them be missed. And everyone who's ever made me pissed. Made me pissed. Made me really, really pissed. I've got them on the list. They none of them be missed. He's got them on the list. He's got them on the list. And they none of them be missed. They none of them be missed. None of them be missed.